for another YouTube video. For all of you asking, this is a beautiful Christmas gift from one of my cousins. It's um, basically a towel embroidered with my business logo or my business name. So as promised, it's the next week and we are going to do a filling um, and a removal. So I've been gymming today and I did a boxing glass and this length was not having it. So I, my ring, uh, my middle finger feels a little bit sensitive. So we are going to cut down the length like this and do a full in maybe with the gel overlay or poly gel. So let's see. But first what we're going to do is bind it off with a trusty file. So first off we're going to take off all the tips so that we don't double work. Okay? Because you wouldn't want to take off all the product and then cut off the tip. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, yeah, we are just going in. You can see like the way I'm holding my hand, moving my fingers around. That is just so that it's easier to remove the product. Don't be scared to move your hand around and hold it in a weird angle if you have to. To remove that product easier instead of cutting yourself or not getting into that corner. Okay guys, so we removed majority of the poly and um, the gel remember there was a layer of acrylic um sprinkled over it so as you can see like these parts here that white there that's lifting so we're going to want to remove that um so i'm just going to use a coarse bit like these parts here we're going to want to remove that can we just take a moment like i really like this pink like can you guys just see it's so pretty anyway let's go back just wanted to pause the video there can you guys see let me just focus can you guys see that lifting there so it just popped off while I was filing so you want to remove all of that because whatever like water dust dirt can seep through your skin and that's how you get allergies and that green I can't get to the word now but I'll get to the word and then I'll <laughs> pop it in here <laughs> that green stuff is aka fungi so the reason why we have to remove that lifting part if any oil or water sits in there and the nail doesn't get air because of the product over it that is when fungi gets created so that's why it's very important so first we're going to go in with the di drapes again so yeah you can see the nails is it's basically this Parts here that is grown out, that is lifted. That we wasn't planning on adding any filling. Let's just see, because I think the tip is might need a little filling because it's very thin. I don't know if it's the dust blocking my nose right now or why my nose is blocked because I went to the gym after a whole month and now my nose is feeling nasally we will never know because I didn't wear a mask when I was filing Okay, so that is done. And I'm just going to go in with a rubber base from Miss Carver. That's if there is even, oh, there's still a lot of base in there. Just checking in. Hope everyone is doing well while we're doing this base layer. 
I know that it's that time of the year where everyone is very demotivated, despondent and work can get super hectic. So I hope that all is well, everyone is in a good mindset and that you are ready for this next work week. So with this nail set, it is very difficult because I didn't go in with a clear idea of what I wanted to do. I just knew that I didn't want any plain nails. So there's going to be a lot happening. I took out all my nail art. I was ready to do color and then I didn't want to do color. So I went in with the unicorn dust. Um, half of the video did record so I did the thumb on camera and then the rest didn't record but this is the unicorn dust and I was complaining here with how little powder there is in there for so much money but it is what it is <laughs> we all want cute nails um, so I'm just using my finger to rub it on because I was lazy to get up to get a makeup brush to apply it but I felt like the finger actually applied it very well. So yeah, I'm just doing that and then I'm going to top coat it and then it's going to be a lot of things happening. I was going to do flamingos, I was going to do um, the stamping tool and then I couldn't find my stamping scraper. Um, so I was like, oh, what can I do? But you'll see my MacGyver instincts kicking in there. While we are busy with our nails, this is your weekly reminder. Guys, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss a single video. Um, once you subscribe, there's going to be a little bell button next to this, um, the grayed out button, which um, is the subscribe button. Then you just click on that and then every single time I upload, the notification will come through to your phone to say that Jay, Nails by Jay just posted a new video. Um, while you're doing that, now in the middle of the video, don't forget to click on that like button. So likes up if you're happy with this video. I am doing the most and please do comment and don't forget to comment what you want to see. What should I do next? Whose dog is so rude? I'm so sorry guys. It's not my dog. He's sleeping because it's winter. So when you're doing chrome powder, you would want to put your top coat on first. And then you pick the color chrome you would like to do. And add the chrome over and then seal it with top coat again. Um, the reason for the top coat is just to give it a smooth surface to stick on. I am using a non-white top coat just so you know so guys i really hope that you guys are enjoying my channel and please support help me to get to a hundred subscribers by the end of the year so if you can get your granny your uncle your your dog aunt mouse even those little cockroaches man Get them to subscribe so that we can get to 100 followers by the end of the year. And thumbs up the video, please. Your support is genuinely appreciated. Like, I didn't realize how much time and if it goes into this. But yeah, you can see me. I'm testing. What can I scrape this with? Well, I did end up doing it. I didn't scrape it properly, but it gave me a brilliant idea as I was going on. So anyway, um, yeah, I didn't realize how much time and if it does go into making these videos for you guys. But I don't mind. Like I said in my previous videos, this is my therapeutic time. It's just the nails that I do sometimes is not very really practical because of life, of course. So then I have to go back in and shorten it. And of course, I'm going to record that for you guys as well because... Who doesn't like practicality like if you can do your own nails at home while you're watching my videos please do so yeah i'm just stamping the color on and i'm like okay i like this i really like this let's do here and there and then it's still too plain like what else can we do to make this set pop because it's very neutral right now and we need like a dash of color 
so yeah um guys my next video will be dropping on wednesday yes i'm dropping another video in the week so please don't forget to click on that notification button so that you don't miss the video when it drops anyway so here we're going in with the color i was like taking out my half of a tile not even half quarter piece of a tile and we're just splashing the colors on them so then the design i was thinking of doing was going with this like stamping look and just doing paint splatters on my nails and i am living for it it's so cute so subtle but the color just pops i wanted it to look like paint was splashed on the nail and i think i got the effect okay guys so the next video is related to a day in the life of a lash slash nail tech please watch the space and avoid missing the video by clicking that bell button next to the subscribe button so that you get notified when i do post it anyway guys you must have an amazing work week and i hope that you enjoyed the set as much as i did i'm still rocking them because of the gymming and the boxing i will add a little clip of my nails right now while i'm sitting in bed doing this voiceover and yeah guys thank you so much for your support and don't forget to get me to 100 subscribers by the end of the year mom dad uncle mouse cat get them all to subscribe and this is the sad part we have to say goodbye to you but don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and until next time guys peace